Hello, welcome to Quality Lounge. I'm Nick. Today we're going to explore some more sours in the world of sours. We're going to do a house sour today. Uh, this is a cocktail that I developed when a good friend of mine that helped me start this bar apologized for getting involved with the Navy and being posted to Sydney. Um, he sent me a text message and it felt like he was apologizing for a breakup. I sort of told him that everyone cracks the shits with life and does something extreme. I bought a bar, he joined the Navy. We'll see which one works out better. He'll probably do better than I do. But the point is, this is the moving on cocktail. It's all about moving on after a fairly amicable but still regrettable breakup. Okay, let's get started. We'll take the chilled mixing glass. Grab some rye whiskey. We're going to use house rye whiskey, Jim Beam today, simply because he left and he's not worth better. No, I'm kidding. I couldn't have done this without Jolly, so I'm really happy that I finally got to make a cocktail that's sort of in his honor. It really does remind me of uh, the many, many hours of making cocktails before going out and partying like crazy bars that we did when we first moved to Melbourne together. Okay. Two measures of rye whiskey. Three quarters of a measure of dark creme de cacao. Most people prefer to use white creme de cacao in cocktails, but in the case of this, I like the uh, murkiness that it creates. And as we are going to be using a third of beer syrup, the colour would be darkened anyway. So there we go, one third beer syrup. To that we then add three, oh sorry, one third of a measure of lemon juice. And then the uh, most interesting of the ingredients, a quarter of a measure, that's right, a full quarter of a measure of Agnostura bitters. This has a lot of bitters in it. And there we are. Because it's very murky, and because we've got the lemon juice in it, we'll shake it. There we go, nice frosty mixing tin. Make sure that it tastes good. Mm. And pour it into our sour glass. And there we have it. That right there. Moving on cocktail. All right, the uh, Moving On cocktail was inspired by a uh, text message, as I said, but uh, the flavors and the taste of it is more what I was trying to convey rather than any kind of sense of moving on from a breakup. Jolie was a big part of this bar. I really, really could not have done it without him. And this drink is based in a lot of what it sort of feels like when friends have to move apart and it's not like we have really moved apart as friends it's just physical and it does make it difficult when you've just started something new and you've got no free time to go and be with a friend so I hope this goes some of the way towards showing how much I appreciate what you did.
the flavors in it are um, at first very sour and very bitter that comes to the forefront very quickly but it mellows out dramatically with the creme de cacao to this sweet relaxing kind of feeling and the eventual mouthfeel and dryness left by the uh, hop and malt notes and beer syrup kind of it, it just feels like you're ready to move on and that was more the premise of the name and all the flavours remind me of everything that uh, Jolie's kind of done for me so not so much the, the bitterness and what have you but just being able to put together a whole bunch of things that shouldn't work and make a success out of it and I owe that all to him so and that's for you mate cheers <laughs>